here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Over my shoulder. Sit. Sit. Now we got it going. Okay. So. So this is, if you've watched some of our, our stuff before, this is our thing. When we go trail camming, when we do trail camera adventures, the last time we forgot it. We get a breakfast burrito from the Lakeside store in Cougar. And it's freaking awesome. Look at that. And we share it. And what bloodhound doesn't like a good breakfast burrito? Okay, I know this one does. So I want you to come over here. So what have we seen so far? We saw some elk on the way up. Oh, you're gonna just go for the whole thing? You don't wanna share with daddy? <laughs> That's not very nice. So we stopped off on the way up on this one corner where we see elk an awful lot. And it was raining, but there was, there was a pretty good sized herd in there and there was one nice four by four bull probably 600 plus yards off. Uh, I didn't take a, a range, but we got out the compact spotting scope and set up the iPhone and I took some, some good videos and I'll throw that on there too. It was kind of nice sitting there. She was wiggling the car around a little bit, so it's gonna, it's gonna be bumpy at times, but it's a great way to, oops, start up and there goes the burrito. Great way to start off the day. And uh, then we hit um, an area that we call the Power Canal. And there were golden eyes in there and there was Canada geese. And the golden eyes were diving and working. They are um, fish ducks, they're working the bottom. So that was pretty nice too. And the rain stopped and now we're on our first trail. Eating incredible breakfast burritos. Climbing, cleaning up down below where it's built. Mm. Good stuff. There's an awful lot of elk sign coming up in a lot. They've been bedding down the solar. Not surprising they do that this time of year because that's where most of the lower elevations the, the the growth is so anyway we should have a bunch of elk a bunch of elk on there in this area i haven't got a bull on on video since last year we'll see what what is in this area bull wise i know there's lots of cows but we'll see <clears throat> Okay, in the last camera on this string, we repositioned it. It used to be, used to be over on that hill looking this way. And we got um, some very good video of newborn fawns last year. And then they would come through with their mom quite a bit after that. Let's see. Hopefully we'll get some more this year. Uh-oh, happened again. Yeah. Dead battery, that's part of it, so. You like that fresh water? Huh? Yeah. Don't go too far down there, you're gonna slip. No. Aha! There's animals in there, isn't there? You smell them. That's what it is.
Okay. We're in area number two for the day. This place is so cool. Look at all the moss. Definitely a lot of old growth trees in here. Lots of old growth trees. What you eating? Huh? Oh, looks like some fresh elks got. Oh yeah, it's all torn up in here. So we've got a few more new cameras in here. So looking forward to seeing what's on them. It's a beautiful area. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of elk got around. Most of it's fairly new. So I set a camera up in a actually two cameras up in an area that I got mountain lion and a bobcat before. Not easy to find, but we'll get it. Hopefully they're still going through there. I imagine they are. It's really, the cats go through, they don't really stay on the elk and deer trails. They kind of parallel them, sometimes cross them. And I guess that's because they're ambush predators and they want to get an advantage point to when the elk and deer come by, get them. All right, I think we're, yeah, this is the area where we've got those two cameras. Wow, it looks like the elk have been, uh, yeah, there's one camera right in front of us. And then the other camera is over here. So we got them coming and going. Yeah, there's the other camera right over there. Okay, so we found, we found these two. All right, clammy just went right in front of me. Oh, look at that thing. That is about ready to fall. You don't want her on that. I think I'll tie her up right over here. <clears throat> Tend to those two cameras. So there's a good sized swamp past these great big trees here. And it's warmer here when it gets freezing cold. So this is a good, what we'll call a yard area for the elk to winter in bed. All right, always exciting to open up the camera, see if batteries are still working. This has been several weeks cold weather oh no yeah we got a dead soldier here okay all right well we'll change out these batteries all right let's check camera number two. Oh, this is in a really good spot because it's sheltered looks like something's been laying here the other camera is right over there the dead batteries uh, hopefully this one is still going. We'll find out here in a second. Yes. All right. Definitely still going. SD card in there and it'll be off and rolling. There we go. Okay. 
There we go. Is there something interesting in there? Huh? Down in there? You've been digging a hole too, huh? All right. I always love walking up to this camera. It is absolutely in one of the coolest sights around. Last, last time we got here, you see that? Oh, it's standing out now because we cleared all the ferns. The ferns had grown completely over it. So we had to clear it out. But look at that camera placement, it's super cool. And everything comes right down that trail we walked in. Sometimes it comes along the water in front, but great place. That's no good. I've had people mess with this one before. And I'm betting they messed with it again. Looks like the clip has actually broke on it. Huh. I don't know why people mess with other people's things. Well, there is a card in there, so... Yeah, this whole clip is broken off. So, maybe not. Maybe a bear did it. We'll find out. Oh my gosh, the battery's still working. Hey, okay, turn it off. Get, get that card out of there and we'll find out what was messing with it. There's an amazing amount of elk down in here. It's all scratched up everywhere. So maybe the elk are the hardest of all things on my camera. So maybe it's just elks. Okay, and this will probably be the last trail camera of the day. This has been a really good one because you've got a cliff right there. You've got all this water here and there's a trail that goes right along the edge so it's what we call a pinch point and uh, pinch points are great so here we go cross your fingers been a while come on batteries off and on yeah another dead soldier oh well We'll see what's on there. Another good day, another full Sunday. You have done a lot. Oh, you're really looking over there. What do you see? Did you hear something or did you see something? So this is our second spot. Um, on the first one, we got a lot of cameras. We, we probably pulled cards from, I think six or seven. And on this one, we had one camera that was destroyed probably a beaver or a squirrel. I don't think it was a bear or a person. The card was in there, the battery was working, stuff like that. And bits and pieces of the, la the latch were down on underneath it. So we just replaced that one out completely. Yeah, we'll figure something else out for it since it's still working. And uh, so we got another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven back there. So. This was a full day. It is a full day for us. It's after two o'clock. We started right at daybreak. And uh, whew, my hips, my legs are sore. I know you can keep going, but let's go home. All right. Hey, thanks for joining us again at Trail Camera Adventures. You are absolutely welcome to share these wildlife videos with uh, 
with everybody that you know <laughs> if you like and hey if you're somewhere in this Washington um, Southwest Washington Oregon uh, area and you want to go out and do a trail camera adventure with me hey give me a ring send me a note and uh, we'll go have some fun we'll go together all right thanks